Okay, real quick, so story time. This is kind of a sad story, but um, it's nonetheless relevant to what I'm gonna talk about in the video. So I once knew this guy named Sean, and Sean had a CPA do his taxes one time, and the CPA stole his money. I think he stole like $5,000, something around that. He stole $1,000 from him. Guess what happened? A few months later, the CPA who stole his money ends up dying, okay? True story, this, this actually happened, okay? And I say this to say because you know, watch out for what you do to others because sometimes it comes back onto you worse than the way you put it out. Okay, welcome to another episode of Self-Employed Success Secrets. Weekend edition with me, your host Marcus. On today's episode, we're going to talk about how karma never forgets an address, okay? That as you sow, so shall ye reap, as it says in the Bible. On, on previous episodes, I've made videos about how, you know, in your life, you reap what you sow. Now I'm talking about with people. You reap what you sow. That if you lie to people, people are going to lie to you. If you hurt other people, other people are going to hurt you. Okay, so the first point I want to make is do as much good as you can. Okay, this is what John Wesley said, the famous Methodist preacher. He said, do all the good you can by all the means you can and all the ways you can in all the places you can, at all t all the times you can, to all the people you can, as long as ever you can. It was Nino Brown who said, shout out to Nino Brown, who said it was, they played you and they thought they got away with it, but know that karma got their number, okay? Understand that in this world that we live in, people, you may think you're getting away with stuff, but there are forces, there are powers greater than us that govern this world, and you should take peace in that. Whether you're trying to start your self-employment venture or you want to keep it going, understand there's a force. God is over everything. And you don't have to worry about somebody doing you wrong. All you need to worry about is doing as much good as you can and helping people because that's the right thing to do. That's why you're here as a person, okay? Don't seek to hurt people. And when you're jealous and when, you know, you lust after people or lie to people or steal from people, you're hurting them, okay? So just think about that today on this uh consideration of to that end it was uh marion williamson she's the author she said the universe keeps a perfect set of books okay and i'm a bookkeeper what that means is that for every debit there's a credit for every action there's a reaction for every good thing you do good will come back to you for every bad thing you do bad thing bad things will come out back at you at back at you and so i just really want you to to focus on the main point today is that karma never forgets an address if you think you're getting away with stealing or hurting people or <clears throat> overcharging people because they're old. Just all these different things that'll come back to you. You want to be as pure hearted as possible. You want to work for innocence. You want to help for innocence. Meaning that you're just here to help. You're not here to make money. You're not focused on making money. You're not focused on hurting people and taking advantage of people. You're focused on just serving a pure purpose. And that will bring money to you because a lot of people don't do that. And they say that, but they don't actually do it. And so I want to just inculcate to you what I've seen work is that if you come from a pure purpose and you're helping for innocence, you will get to where you're trying to go, okay? And understand you want as much positive karma on your side as possible, okay? So I hope you're getting something from this video, but just understand that karma does not forget an address. Everything you do will come back to you, good or bad. Look guys, life is not a game. There are real world consequences for hurting people. Uh, there's a lot of people out there who are in bad shape because they hurt somebody else. Okay, I don't want you to fall into that because life is not a joke, it is not a game. And people, a lot of people think it is, they don't take it seriously, this is a law. This is not something nice to say, it's just that when I say karma does not forget nudges, if you are doing wrong to folks, it's gonna get found out. Okay, what's done in the dark will come to the light, so you gotta just be clean, all right? Just live clean, all right, and you'll be, you'll have a better life. Now you may be thinking, how on God's green earth, which I'm surrounded by front essence, how on God's green earth am I going to make money while keeping this thought in mind that karma never forgets and I just understand that people want the real thing. You want the real thing. You're watching this video, you're like, is this dude real? Is what he's saying true? And if I can answer that, yes, you, you, will, you, you will follow me, you'll give me money because it's real. It's not fake, okay? That's why you want to understand and remember that karma never forgets an address because if you're doing right, right will come back to you. If you're giving out something that's true, true will come back to you. 
and a lot of times this is used in a negative connotation where it's like, okay, um, I don't do bad things, so bad things will happen. You understand you can flip that and say, do good things and good things will come back to you. Not just because you want good things to happen, but just because it's right. You're here to be right. You're here to be upright, do things the right way. Help somebody without getting paid for it. That's such a foreign concept to so many people. But that's how a lot of successful businesses have gotten started. They just started helping folks. Someone was like, hey, you know, my window's broken. Do you know how to fix windows? And you just start playing with it. And then you figure out a, a cool way to fix windows. Or like, hey, my bike chain's broken. You just, you know, you just fix the bike chain. And someone else called, oh, my friend has a messed up bike. And then it kind of goes from there. Can I also do, if you've stuck by this far, please tune in for the surprise at the end of the video but the main point is that life is a boomerang okay whatever gets thrown back is gonna come back at you so do good okay if you do good you got you're storing up good for yourself i've seen this in my life just do as much good as you can think as much good as you can act as much good as you can you'll have a happier existence and so now we are to the surprise as these rabbits are like right next to me it's pretty cool Better rabbits than rats. Uh, anyways, today's surprise. Surprise of the day is. Just remember that the supply of good cannot be exhausted, and you, if you are a worker and not a shirker, will get your share. Okay, that's something enlightening to know and understand that. Like I said, if you do good, good will come back to you. Okay, and I want to end on that note, knowing that if you do good work, good things will come back to you. People want the real thing. And when you're giving out the real thing, you don't get the real thing, okay? Remember, karma never forgets an address, all right? And lastly, as always, unsuccessful people to make decisions based on their current situations. But successful people, you hopefully make decisions based on where you want to be, okay? Hopefully you got something good out of this video and understand that karma never forgets an address. The universe keeps a perfect set of books. Do as much good to people as you possibly can and watch good things overflow and cascade into your life, okay? Be as pure heart as possible and enjoy life and help people from a pure heart because real attracts real. Okay, bye.